talking about the non-elementary rate laws, which are the ones that don't follow the elementary rate law. For example, here you got A turns out to B. Then one will probably say, okay, the rate of reaction of A is the constant here times its concentration. But as you can see, it's not only that, you have this huge number dividing, and that's when we say this is a non-elementary rate law. So many reactions do not follow these elementary rate laws. That's why we cannot suppose that every reaction follows that. And as I told you before, this is actually just an overview. I just want you to tell you a little bit about this. We're going to see this more in reaction of mechanism here. But actually, it's not that common topic in our reactor engineering course. And probably in your reactor engineering course, I'm almost sure they just want you to know that they exist, these non-elementary rate laws, but we're not going to model them. And if we are going to model them, they are going to give you or to say you specifically that it follows this or they will give you this. They will not ask you, please derive this. No, they will give you this. What will be the model or what will be the size of the reactor if we give you this rate of reaction. And other special topic is when we got a non-elementary rate law in equilibrium reaction. The rate law of every species by definition it's an equilibrium. It's zero. Why zero? Because A turns out to be species B and at the same time B transforms into C. So if you were to add you are transforming one but at the same time you are disappearing one so the net or the overall change is zero. That's why the rate law or the reaction rate is zero. Uh, yeah, and this is also an overview. You are familiar with this equation, hopefully. This is the products, products, and these are reactants, reactants. So if you got this A plus B in equilibrium with C and D, you will see that we can model this. And actually our rate law or our constant will be this equilibrium constant. So that's what I wanted to tell you about the non-elementary rate loss. Uh, as I told you before, it's not that common to see this topic. We're going to see a little bit or discuss a little bit here. You are really, really, really into reaction of mechanism and non-elementary rate loss. You can jump to this chapter. But as I told you before, this is not common for reactor engineering introductory courses. So don't worry, just know that they exist and keep following because we're going to start with our reaction rate constant or K. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.